me learn a lot of things. Make sure I don't make make sure I make a good mistake. Cause if I make a bad mistake, my life will be ruined. Now, are you a bad student? No, I'm a good student. I was said for make sure everybody do good. Cause you know I'll be a gangbanger or you'll be killed or go to jail. Jamal Brooks, a Standard 5 student of Wesley Upper School in Southside Belize City, is one of 210 students to be honored today at the graduation ceremony of the great program of the police department. The Gang Resistance Education and Training Initiative is funded by the U.S. Embassy and has at-risk youths participating in a 13-week program that teaches them key life skills. The effort of great is to have students in primary school be more responsible, making um, positive decisions that will affect them not just today, but later on in their futures. Um, our effort, effort is to deteriorate crime. Um, we know for a fact that a lot of young youths are committing um, some very grave crimes, and we don't want it to happen in Precinct 1. We, we want that to deter. We want to stop that. Change does not happen, and it cannot happen within 13 weeks. But we had planted a seed, and with that seed that we plant, whenever I do one of our child go, well, they will know that, you know what, I know about this. I should make a good decision that will affect me. So, yes, we plant a very good seed. And not all of them. We have approximately 210. Not all of them will follow what we have taught them, but we know majority of them will follow. For Naomi O'Brien, a Standard 5 student of St. John Vianney, she has learned how to manage her anger. I learned how to manage her anger tips and say no and mean it if anyone tries to offer you drugs. Was there a hard part to the program? Not really. No. It's all about targeting, of course, children at a young age uh, before they get out of hand and they get bad. Were you a bad person? No. You give trouble? No, no most of the time. Okay. What advice would you give your other friends, uh, your, your classmates, eh, about the program and why they should be part of it? Well, you should be part of it because if you end up in a situation, if anyone offers you drugs, you should say no and just walk away. Don't stay at them or else you get in trouble with them. Okay. You appreciate police more? Yes. Uh, according to Community Policing Officer Corporal Hortense Hernandez, the program also breaks that misconception that police are the, quote, bad guys. We have talked about that, doing it in our, um, without uniforms so that you know we will be more receptive at school. But we encounter no problem. The students know who we are, what are what other what our purposes at the school. Um, boundaries and barriers was there. We had boundaries. We had to have boundaries. I am the law enforcement officer. I'm here for a reason. So we did not encounter a problem. We work very well together, both um, police officers, the students, and the teachers. Over 2,000 primary school children have passed through the program. Dwayne Moody for News 5.